Here's one secret to being the ultimate ladies' man. So we've all seen them, guys that are really good with girls. Like one quality that they have is that they're expressive and they can do gestures and they've got facial expressions and their vocal tonality has a dynamic range to it. And uh, the guys that, uh, you know, like fold their arms and are really like stoic and gruff and stuff like that, they don't really quite have the same effect on women. So one point that we could establish is that being stoically gruff or just like plain faced and like folded arms and stuff like that all the way into the masculine is not something that's conducive to attracting women. While it is true that women want a masculine man, a man that works out, a guy that can lead, a guy that you know goes out into the world and accomplishes stuff, they don't want just that. They also want a guy that can make them laugh and a guy that's like willing to have fun and be goofy and maybe just like dance, you know, at the drop of a dime. They want a guy that can also be in touch with his feminine. So a lot of guys, when they're trying to calibrate to the optimum way to attract women, will actually pendulum swing way into the masculine. They're like, oh, yeah, the way to do it is to be like as tough as humanly possible. I'm just going to fucking crush skulls and that's how I'm going to get girls. But the truth of the matter is you have to be somewhere in between both poles of masculine and feminine. You have to be able to go into both ranges and only then will you be balanced enough to also be a strong, confident man, but also a playful, fun guy that can be expressive, spin the girl around at random, tickle her, stuff like that, and have a great time and be the kind of guy that she you know, wants to spend time around.